Experts point to three factors that could be driving the upticks in Europe right now. Waning immunity, the lifting of interventions like masks and people getting together a lot more, and this Omicron subvariant called BA2. And of course, we've got all of these at play in the U.S. as well. The BA2 subvariant is estimated to be at at least 30 percent more transmissible than the original Omicron, which of course itself was much more contagious than previous variants. And it's been on the rise in the U.S. since late January. The CDC now estimates it makes up almost a quarter of new cases in the U.S., at least as of last week. And it's more prevalent in different regions, like here in the Northeast, where CDC data show it could make up almost 40 percent of new cases. The good news is BA2 is not thought to be more severe than the original Omicron, and vaccines are expected to hold up similarly against it. So what will this end up looking like in the U.S.? While well, already wastewater surveillance is suggesting a potential uptick in cases here, and models like this one from Columbia University are now projecting that cases across the U.S. could rise through April after reaching a low of about 30,000 a day, which of course is close to where they are now. And though cases matter for people who are immunocompromised and because of the risk of longer-term effects of COVID, policymakers have started focusing on whether hospitalizations will rise as well. And whether this happens is still an open question. Experts note the U.S. has fewer people boosted than many European countries. And of course, that provides us with less protection. Shep. Sadly true. Billions of dollars in COVID funds are stalled on Capitol Hill. What happens if that money doesn't get approved? This is really worrying people, and the White House warns it means we'll be unprepared for future potential waves. They say they won't have enough money to buy more boosters for all Americans if they're needed. They say in April they'll have to stop reimbursing health care providers who care for the uninsured with COVID. In May, we could run out of antibody drugs. And in June, our ability to maintain testing capacity will drop. Not to mention our ability to support vaccination and health care programs globally, which is key to trying to prevent new variants. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.